for weeks now, I've been making linoleum block prints. Uh, linoleum block printing is where you take squares of linoleum, you cut away the linoleum that you don't want to print black, then you ink that block and press it on a piece of paper and you get the image that you designed printed. The first time I printed from the blocks I did it without a press and it was difficult to get consistent impressions. The alignment was hit or miss my husband stepped up to the plate and offered to build a press for me. He engineered it so that I'd be able to do large and small prints and still get alignment. The part of the press that holds the letter aligns it and allows the letter to be pressed hard against the card. The black is the ink printed by the press and then afterwards, I go ahead and hand paint all the other colors into the letters. Printing each piece is exacting and time consuming, but hand coloring each letter actually takes something like five times longer than printing. The individual letters make good gifts. They give you lots of options. You can frame people's initials. I spelled out joy to display at Christmas. Printing the uh, piece with the whole alphabet is a real challenge because with every additional letter that goes on the piece, the chance of ruining the entire work with all the previous letters increases. And it's easy to get a letter crooked, get it out of alignment. It takes a while to roll the ink out. You know you've got it right when the ink makes a sort of a smackety, smackety, smackety sound as you roll the roller back and forth on it. One of the iffiest parts of the whole process is getting the ink on the block. I, I have made any number of errors getting too much and too little ink on the block. It's, it's sort of a process that takes a little bit of finesse. I feel a little glee each time I make a successful print. And then I try to repeat the exact inking process for the next time. This project was long and took tremendous attention to detail, but I really wanted to get it done. I felt it would be especially satisfying to see all the letters put on one piece of art. I love letters. I love alphabets. So having them all together was dear to my heart. It took another couple of weeks of 12 to 15 hour days, but I'm so glad I did these. It was a good feeling to come to the end of the last alphabet, although by one in the morning on the last day, it, I didn't have enough energy left to dance around the kitchen, but it was a good feeling. I don't remember much about the end of the print run except that going to bed that night felt especially good and I don't remember anything after my head hit the pillow. I and I like the way the letters look even in black and white. It's a very satisfying thing. But then I know they're going to look like jewelry when I get the colors put in. For the individual letters, I just choose colors that best illustrate the subject of each letter. But for the complete alphabet, it's more complex. I start with a few obvious choices. Well, I had the idea the apple would be red. And then there's a certain green that works for the leaves. And then that influences the colors that go in the letters surrounding it. I try to think about the colors as if I were weaving a pattern throughout the whole alphabet piece. I hope wherever these pieces are displayed, people will sense the care and the time that went into making them. This can be a connection to people who love letters like I do.